Welcome back to another daily vlog everyone. The garden, good news, all the paths have been cleared. You can now do full circuits around the garden and it is wonderful. I was thinking, the idea has only come to me today of possibly opening the gardens to the public. So when there's a new entrance put in, which will be about here somewhere I hope, we can have maybe a volunteer or someone from the town who opens the gates in the morning and closes them again at night. And people from the town can just walk in and wander around the gardens. And I think that would be something really good because it's giving something to the community and it's giving the garden a very good use. So that's a really good idea. We might have to start an association for that, for the restoration of the gardens or something, I'm not sure. The only other park is in the north of the town and that's about a 10 minutes walk from here. There's also a retirement home just at the back of the convent along the wall. So I think it would make a great use as a public park. We'll have to look into this in the future, but I think it's a great use because personally I'm not going to use the garden apart from wandering around it or maintaining it. And we could probably get some sort of volunteers to help from the town maybe. So I think it's a great idea. Yeah, that's a really good idea. It's giving something back to the town, I think. So I'm currently stood in front of the chapel. Up there you have George and the Dragon and some Latin writing. These beautiful oak doors. And along here there are vents which are below the ground level of the chapel. You can see this modern vent but inside you have a metal mesh vent which goes I believe below the floor level of the chapel. You have another one along here Ooh. 
And this one is about a meter below the floor level. So much further down, which is also below the floor level of the chapel. Those vents are below the floor level of the chapel. So that leads me to believe that there is something below the chapel. And I think I know where the entrance is. So let's go and have a look quickly. Let me just grab this torch and let's make our way to the confessional, which is a modern addition. So this was built much later than the chapel itself. You can see it's got modern windows. It's even got a Velux. And they've sort of built it around the exterior of the window, which is a bit of a shame because it's blocking out a lot of natural light. Here is the confessional itself. And you have this very low wall, which runs along the side of the building. I believe at some point this was an exterior door. Um, it might have been changed. But if we go to the other side of the confessional, this is where I need the light. You see there's a small kneeling bench and the light. But just around the side here, you have the start of the wall. Um, I think that this area here used to be completely open before there was an extension. And there were steps going down here. You can see what I mean from a modern extension. It hasn't been here long. And there would have been an opening here. This would have been the wall. And I believe that there are steps going down to a doorway which essentially leads to below the chapel. So you're probably wondering what's the next step? Well, I could poke a camera through the holes in the air vent and see what's down there. We can do that at some point just to confirm my suspicions. Um, we've also spoken to a historian and we've also seen some documents um, which mentions a crypt below a chapel. Um, so straight away when I read that, I knew it was probably them air vents. I was also thinking that there might be another entrance because the flooring here it's different to the flooring over there. This has been covered over at some point. It looks like it can be lifted up. That could possibly be another entrance. At some point we can possibly discover that, but for the time being we'll just leave it be because it is a burial chamber. The deceased are resting there and we must be respectful. Right, let's grab this light.